So I know I'm supposed to be doing a review on The Amazing Spider-Man, and I know I'm supposed to keep going on uh, the DC film retrospective, but you know, I gotta, I gotta review The Amazing Spider-Man trilogy first. But anyways, uh, but anyways, we are going to, today I will be reviewing Toy Story 4. Now, will it be as good as the three Toy Story movies? Or will it be bad and just feel like a quick cash grab and a pointless sequel? Let's find out. So I just got back from the theater watching Toy Story 4 and, well, it's not as bad as I expect to be. At least it was good. It was fun. It was enjoyable to watch. I will give it that. It was enjoyable to watch. It had a great story. It had great characters. And we get to see the return of Bo Peep as we didn't get to see her from the third movie. And the reason why is we found out why. Now, this will include major spoilers from Toy Story 4. So, spoiler alert, if you have not seen Toy Story 4, I will highly recommend you to go watch it before watching this review. But if you're already caught up, or if you don't care about spoilers, then feel free to see in this film. We finally get to learn about what happened to Bo Peep. Uh, we learned that Bo Peep was being sold to some guy in a raincoat. And basically that Molly didn't need her anymore, didn't need Bo Peep anymore. So Woody just goes there and wants to, and wants Bo to come back to Andy's house. Unfortunately, no. And she couldn't because she says it's time for the next kid. And so Bo, de, Bo and Woody uh, go, go in their separate ways. Yeah. But anyways, I thought that this movie was going to suck. The same as my brother because he thought that the movie was going to suck. And we thought that, whoa, 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 whoa. It just felt like a quick cash grab. Because like, I just, a fil a I, fil I want to state this out. So, anyways, I thought that this movie was going to suck. Ever since the trailer was leaked online, it just felt like Ghostbusters 2016. Star Wars The Last Jedi, Captain Marvel, and X-Men Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Which, you know. Uh, the, anyways. Anyways. Um. So. Wasn't as bad. Uh, you, I mean. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't like a quick cash grab. Or anything like that. It wasn't like a pointless sequel. It was a really great sequel that we learned more about, you know, uh, we learned more about what happened to Bo Peep in the flashback scene in the beginning. And uh, we also learned more about, well, we also learned more about what it's like. Of being a toy with no owner, no one, you know, no child that can own a toy. That was basically the main theme of the movie. A, ch uh, a toy who was lost and doesn't care about a child because, you know, kids lose their toys every day. Which is true. Some kids have lost their toys. Some have found them and some have not. Which is basically true. Uh, and the animation, the animation looks amazing and it has improved from the three previous Toy Story films. The animation is really nice and the ending was very emotional at best. It was very emotional, like emotional as Avengers, well not as emotional as Avengers Endgame's ending and Logan where you know, basically, at the ending of Avengers Endgame, we get to see Iron Man dying. After doing the doing the snap, and Thanos gets erased from existence, and he's no longer there anymore. But unfortunately, Iron Man dies. And when we get to see Logan facing X-24, he dies. He doesn't heal back like he usually does. He dies. All right, permanently is dead. He is permanently dead. All right, 
like it was very emotional and very sad and a bunch of kids were rounding up at his grave and basically that was just basically it for Logan like we don't get to see him coming back to life again and cute and um, yeah that's basically it but this it doesn't have anyone dying which the ending is very emotional I will give it that I didn't cry but I did get to see a few people crying of the ending which I do understand and you know like we're at the end um everyone gets to be going back to their owner Bonnie their new owner but unfortunately uh unfortunately Woody doesn't he decides to stay with Bo Peep um he decides to stay with Bo Peep to make lost toys get, you know have their own kids and all that and plus the one thing I really hate about this movie was well Woody's voice box was gone all because well Gabby Gabby the main villain of the the main villain of the fourth film wanted Woody's voice box and that kinda pisses me off but you know the only reason why he did it was to save Forky if you don't know, Forky was basically, um, Forky was basically Bonnie's new toy. Well, just like a, it's just a um, spork that just comes thing, it, to life. And well, I really like how, you know, I really like how Buzz and Woody have, uh, reunite with Bo Peep. You know, you know, and I also really like the newcomers. Like I really like Keanu Reeves's Duke Kaboom. Now, as you all know, Keanu Reeves, he was the guy who played John Wick in the John Wick movies, and he also plays Neo in the Matrix. Yeah, those were really great movies that Keanu Reeves was in. I mean, Keanu Reeves, he's a really great, he's a really great actor, you know. And well, the voice acting is pretty good. Ducky and Bunny were really funny characters. Um, Duke Kaboom is one of my favorite characters in the fourth film. And what else? Hmm. I think that's all I can say. And what do I give this movie? Well, I'm going to give this movie five stars and a thumbs up. Overall, it's a good movie and it is very fun to watch. And I will highly recommend you go see this movie. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next. Because I'll be continuing the DC Universe, and I'll be doing a review on the Amazing Spider-Man Trilogy.